Shrimp the bump fake drives in, but spotted away by Pippen. Get that out of here. Great defensive play again. Scotty Pippen, he has been everywhere. So you think you can commentate, huh? What is going on with you guys? This is Regular Dave. I am invading iPod King Carter's channel for the next 10 minutes. Uh, he has this You Think You Can Commentate series. I said I'm going to go ahead and enter my name in a hat. Some of you guys already know me from Game Face Studios, fellow Game Face Studio member with iPod King Carter, fellow Machinima Sports Director. Um, so some of you guys know me. For those that don't, little bit about my channel 90% sports 10% whatever else game I'm playing at the moment um, but I don't get super into like the FPS Call of Duty that everybody does the game the YouTube game is so saturated you get buried when you go FPS so I love sports I'm a sports junkie so um, yeah that's what I do enough about my channel let's get into this game this is NBA 2k12 um, and I'm unlocking all the NBA's greatest. I got that running on my channel. And check out Scottie Pippen with the bang over Sean Kemp. Oh, my goodness. Beginning of the game. And he posterizes Sean Kemp. Um, yeah, this is, the I think, the 94, 95 Bulls, I want to say. Uh, the, the team that went 72 and 10. Um, and that's the best record in NBA history. By all accounts, some people feel like this is the best team of all time man they got the most wins i know teams have not always played 72 games and what is going on i didn't know that was dennis Rodman. i thought that was ron harper and i made the three anyway i don't know if i've ever seen dennis Rodman make a three but uh i'm playing the seattle supersonics the bulls beat them in the finals that year um and they were a good team because they had the glove gary payton doing moves like that fadeaways but man no match for the bulls man the bulls were so deep man jordan pippen Harper, Rodman, Ku Coach, Steve Kerr. I mean, they were deep. They were deep. And this is actually in the game. This is Scottie Pippen's challenge. So I try to get whoever's challenge it is, I try to get them a uh, player of the game. But when you got Michael Jordan on the team, it's hard. So let's see if I can get Scottie Pippen player of the game. It's his challenge. And that's Mike being Mike. Man, does he, like with contact, like can anybody, I don't know. But man, all right, enough about Mike, man. That's. Kerr grabbing a board, and I'm tripping because I'm like, oh, crap, Steve Kerr's in the game, and Steve Kerr's in the booth, too. And they did make mention of it, and that's Tony Kukoc, man, underrated player. To me, he was the first real, real su um, successful player to come out uh, from overseas. But that's Mike with a breakaway, and he gave me a little grim grazing dunk. I wanted to see a signature Mike spectacular dunk, and that's what I got. I was like, what is going on? But I already finished Mike's uh, challenge, and check Scotty with that layup. I already finished Mike's challenge. That's up on my channel. And you know I went hand with Mike, um, but I'm trying to do the thing with Scotty and look at that drawing contact, man. I was should have been an and one, but it is what it is. Um, I had control of this game, even though it's close, man. I didn't feel like I was gonna lose the whole game. The computer can cheat you, but look at Dennis Rodman being Dennis Rodman. That's what Dennis Rodman does, man. Look at the uh, superb defense. But man, if you guys played the computer, man, they cheat the crap out of you. And look at the and one. Look at the continuation with the Euro step. Um, all right, I'm getting excited. I'm getting excited. My bad. My bad, man. I'm not trying to um, scare all iPod King Carter subscribers away. I'm trying to bring y'all to my channel. But, um, yeah, man. That's Mike. Look at, oh, my goodness. All right. I'm fanboying right now. But, but come on, man. With the, with the, like, the pump fake, like, if this is not Michael Jordan, I don't know who it is. And the extras on a layup. He ain't had to do all that. But that's that Michael Jordan swag that we love. Um, and, Seattle, man, they were, I, I wouldn't say they were a viable opponent because at no point did you ever feel like they were going to beat the Bulls. But they had Gary Payton, Sean Kemp, Detlef Shrimp, and that's the computer cheating because there's no way you should hit a fadeaway three-pointer from that deep. But that, that's keeping the computer in it. That's Scotty's numbers at the halftime, 11 points, two rebounds, three assists. I wouldn't say that's like spectacular, not stat stuff and numbers, but you know what? He's getting the job done. I'm trying to get him player of the game, y'all. I'm trying to do it, but I'm also trying to win because I don't want to play this over. I don't like playing these things twice even though I've had to do it because people like the glove, like to get into the lane and fill it up on me. But, yeah, I've had to play a couple of them two or three times because the computer just sometimes just goes bananas where you can't stop them. But, man, that's Sean Kemp doing his thing. And Sean Kemp, man, that dude could dunk. If you know anything about Sean Kemp, YouTube his uh, dunk contest. I don't know what year it was. 
but before the lockout, because once the lockout happened, he put on a lot of weight. I think he got addicted to crack. I, I'm not lying. Like, real talk. I think he got addicted to crack. And that's Steve Kerr lighting up. I was like, I got to make a shot with Steve Kerr because he's announcing the game. And they did say something. He said, ah, I, don't, I don't remember what he said. But, yeah, Sean Kibb got addicted to crack. And, it's you know, he, he changed a little bit. But, man, that dude used to be a high flyer. Uh, one of my favorite dunkers of all time. But, you know, I mean... When you got Michael Jordan on the court, that just dwarfs all the other dunkers. But uh, here goes Steve Kerr again, man. That man was a three-point specialist. Like, I mean, he benefited from a lot of the double coverage Pippen and um, and Jordan got. But, oh, man, they're keeping it close. Uh, Peyton and, and Kemp is trying to wheel him to win. And deadlift shrimp, he lit me up. I didn't show you too much of his highlights. But in the fourth quarter, man, Dennis Rodman goes ham. And I want to show you his free throws. First of all, that hair is crazy because it looks just like how it used to be. But look, like, why would you shoot free throws like this? Like, he shoots it, and he just moves, like, check it out. And then he just, like, he shoots every free throw like that. Like, he's off balance. Like, Dennis Rodman was, man, something else. But he was a great, great uh, rebounder, great defender. And look, Michael Jordan on a breakaway. And again, I mean, it's, it's a powerful dunk, but that ain't a Mike Jordan signature dunk. Mike Jordan's going to go up with one hand and cock to the side with the tongue out. Like, he's not going up with two hands like that, man. He, Michael Jordan's a little prettier than that, but... All right, I don't know, man. 2K sometimes is tripping, man. I'm not sure if they got Jordan's signature dunk package even assigned to him. You got to go in and change those sometimes. Um, but there goes Ku Coach with the up fake, and you know what it is. My oh no, wait, that's that's Dennis Rodman being Dennis Rodman. I told y'all he went ham, grabbing offensive rebounds, going back up. Like he's doing his thing, man. Look at Ron Harper slept on guard, getting it to Dennis Rodman for the dunk, and Dennis Rodman's wilding. You know he was crazy. Man, if you live through that time, you know, it. You, I can't even tell you how crazy, crazy Dennis Rodman is. But, man, when they press in this game, when they get behind and press, that's the worst thing they could do. Like, especially with somebody like Mike Jordan, he's just going to run by you in 2K. That's just what it is. But they keep it close because they got shooters. Detlef Shrimp, man, he's an, he was an assassin. Like, he lit me up this whole game. I don't even know why I didn't show you all this highlights. I must have been on crack doing the same crack Sean Kemp was. But ooh, I just pause for a moment of silence. I just pause. Because that dunk does deserve a Hurst and a tear because he killed it. He killed that dunk. Oh, my goodness. Like, got around shrimp and just cocked all the way back. That was just stupid. So, man, that's, player, that's a player of the game dunk right there. Personally, that's what I feel. Like, you dunk like that in the game, it's your challenge. You should get player of the game. I'm going to make y'all wait to the end to see if I actually was able to get it with Scotty. Um, but look at, look at Peyton, man, doing what you do. Hit Hersey Hawkins. He was a deadly three-point shooter. They're only down. Well, nah, the game's over. I'm tripping. <laughs> I'm tripping, but I think I'm going to get Scotty like two more points for the game's over to try to seal the player of the game. Um, achievement lock. I think they shot under like, I want to say they shot under 40%. I think that's what that achievement is. So, yep. Team below 40%. Got me some achievement points, but you know how Jordan does, man. Still the shot shine, man. Always wants Scotty to be number two. Jordan was a player of the game in this game. I couldn't. If Scottie Pippen's unlock is his NBA greatest, and I couldn't even get him player of the game, man. But you know what? I'm going to let you watch Jordan's highlights, and I'm not going to leave it at that, man. I'll bring you Scottie Pippen's highlights. And uh, check out my channel, y'all, if you enjoyed this commentary. This is basically how my commentaries go. I'll get at you another time. Peace.